Hey guys and welcome back. So this video is my second video of me introducing the Wingfield Smart Court here at the Avenue Tennis Club. As I mentioned, we're lucky enough here at the Avenue to be one of the first clubs in the UK to be testing the Wingfield Smart Court. So I'm gonna make the most of it and I'm gonna be making quite a few videos on here showing you what it's all about and how it's gonna be helping our players. So if you've got any questions at any point, pop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. So in this video, I'm going to sh be showing you how you can get started on the court, whether you're a player or a coach or through your mobile phone. If you hang around to the end of the video, I'm going to go through my three top tips when it comes to using the Wingfield Smart Court. So let's check it out. Step one is downloading the app. Very simple, you need to download the Wingfield app. If you can't find it, there's a QR code on the side of the Wingfield box, which will take you straight to the App Store. Once you've downloaded the app, you need to create an account. Very simple, just fill in a few details like your name, your age, whether you're right or left-handed, etc. Step number two is to book your court. For us here at The Avenue, the Wingfield Smart Court is free to use for members. Some clubs may charge for use for the Wingfield Court, but you need to make sure that you book the correct court. So for us here at The Avenue, the Wingfield box is on court 11. So members will book court 11 and turn up to play as they normally would. Step number three, you need to check into the court using your smartphone. Now this process is super simple. All you need to do is to open up your app and you'll see a button which says start now or single session. Once you click on that, you'll see a QR code appear on your phone. On the Wingfield box, there'll be an option which says start. You'll press the start button and you'll press scan QR codes. Now, do you see the two high-speed cameras? You need to place your QR code in front of the camera, which will scan you in. Now, I'm here on my own today, so I'm gonna scan the same QR code on both sides. This will scan me in on one end of the court and wingman in at the other end. If you're playing with two players that have the app, one of you will check in on one side, one of you will check in on the other side. Once you've both checked in or you've checked in on your own, a screen will appear with your name and your partner's name. Make sure you choose the correct side. You'll click mode. You'll have three options. Option one is match mode. Option two is free play mode and option three is drill mode. I will be making another video on the three modes in a little bit more detail in the future. But the easiest way to get started is to press start free play. Once you've done that, you can play. And at the end of your session, just click end session. Choose one of the options as to what you were working on and then your session will be analyzed. You can then log out of the court and all of the stats and footage will be uploaded to your phone, ready for you to view. So as I said, setting up the smart court ready to play couldn't be easier. And even if you haven't seen this video, you'll see some simple instructions come up on the app in front of you showing you how to get started. But as I mentioned at the start, I do have three top tips that can give you the best experience on the Wingfield court. Number one, I briefly mentioned a second ago, is to make sure that the Wingfield box knows which end of the court you're standing on. And if any point during during the session you change ends, make sure you click that change ends button. By ensuring the smart court knows which end you're at, it can make sure that it's picking up the relevant stats for you and for your opponent. It's pretty smart and in match mode, if you do get it wrong or, or you forget to click change sides, it's smart enough to work it out most of the time, but to be safe, press that button and your stats will be super accurate. My second tip might sound obvious once I've said it, but if you don't know, it could cause problems for your stats. And it's to try to avoid standing in front of the high-speed cameras. Quite often I see players having a chat at the change of ends either side of the net like this. But what you can see here is I'm blocking off the view from the high-speed camera. Anytime this happens, the camera loses focus on the court and can affect your stats. So a tip generally is to avoid standing in front of the cameras for too long. My final tip is more specific for match mode, but it's good practice all round when using the smart court, is to try to score properly. Now what I mean is making sure that you stand on the correct side when it's love all or 30 all or juice or advantage. Making sure that you play out your juices, juice advantage, juice advantage, rather than no ad scoring. This way, the smart court can track your score a lot more efficiently, making for less errors. Other simple things like when passing the ball down to your opponent to serve, don't hit the ball overarm because the smart court may pick that up as your serve. And finally, try to avoid playing on the rally once a ball is called out. If you call a ball out, try to get into the habit of letting it go or catching it rather than carrying on the rally because the machine could think that you've called it in if it was a close call. With all of these things being said, there is a very complex algorithm within the system which can make corrections if things go wrong during the match. And so far, I've played about four sets with the smart court and every single time, 
the Wingfield box has got the score correct. If you are in match mode, at the end of the match, be sure to click the right button. You'll have a couple of options. It will ask you if you finished the set, if you finished the match, or if you're halfway through the set. Click the correct button, and then it will come up with a score. If the score is correct, you'll be able to click yes, and it will log you out and give you all of your stats. If the score is incorrect, you'll have some options afterwards, which will give you some other scores to choose from. So there you go. That was a quick tutorial on how you can get started with the Smart Court. I will do some more detailed videos on the three different modes but for now if in doubt click free play and you can't go far wrong like i said let me know if you've got any questions below or if you'd like to see me making any videos using the smart court i look forward to seeing you next time take care